there's misinformation coming um, from uh, the campaigns, from some of their supporters online, and in, even from foreign governments. With the third week of Alberta's provincial election campaign wrapping up, we have seen the members of UCP and the NDP making tall claims for themselves and blaming the other party, which can make it hard to tell the difference between facts and misinformation. UCP leader Daniel Smith, for example, has talked about NDP leader Rachel Notley endorsing safe supply for drug users. Rachel Notley has gone on the record saying she supports safe supply. These kinds of allegations are just sort of a continuation of uh, Daniel Smith's inclination to essentially lie. The, the, now the onus is on Daniel Smith to, uh, to provide the evidence that that's what she has, has said. From tweets and social media memes to throwing around big numbers without quoting any sources. We have increased our net jobs <clears throat> 136,000 since uh, the UCP got elected. So that's, uh, by my count, I guess, uh, th 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 three times what Ms. Notley was able to do. The UCP and the NDP continue to take digs at each other with claims that might raise questions. Over the last four years, we've had 35,000 net new children enter our schools, and the UCP have not hired a single new teacher. In fact, they fired some. Certainly, if she could have said we hired X number of teachers, you would have expected that to be part of what was was said, uh, but it leaves open the question of, okay, well, is that true or not? And without it being addressed during the debate, uh, it leaves the question open. In some cases, repeated angling and framing of the information seem to do what statements could not. For example, voting for Notley is voting for Trudeau. So then how can voters tackle misinformation? They engage with fact-checking, sometimes through the media outlets like your own, uh, going online and looking up some of this information. But because there's so much to go through, I think for most voters it's going to be a matter of, of sort of narrowing down what are the most important issues to them, what are the most important claims. In Calgary, Hena Said, City News.